Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. Thank you for clicking on uh, this episode. So we're gonna be hanging out with the anacondas and showing you guys some of the boas. I think you guys like seeing that more than the ball pythons. But this is Pop-Tart. She is three years old, getting very large and super sweet, super docile. I put a lot of time into her. I would trust her more than a few other of the snakes in the room. Uh, she's not nippy. She's not bitey. She does has never musked on me. I know a lot of people say that their anaconda is musk, but I've never witnessed that in the three that I do own. So the male is in shed, which is exciting. Uh, he's definitely growing. And then the two females are not in shed, so we're going to check them out and probably show you guys some boas in the rack and stuff like that. But this girl probably weighs about 10 pounds, maybe 11 pounds. I, I know I weighed her maybe a month or two ago and she was right around nine and she's been eating uh, quite a bit since then. So her diet now consists of one pound rats or one pound uh, rabbits. And I really think I'm gonna start swapping over completely to rabbits here very soon. I know, or I've heard, once you get above like the jumbos or the extra jumbos or whatever it is, the rats are just super fatty and the rabbits are a little bit more of a leaner meat. So I think that's gonna be beneficial for her in the future. She's not showing any signs of fat pockets or any really fat on her. As you can see, she's thick, full of muscle, and uh, just I think the rabbits will just be the, the better way to go. Uh, for the future, I just need to get a hold of some, but uh, that's how that's gonna go. So this girl right now is probably touching seven feet, and like I said, she's probably about 10 pounds, but super sweet, super docile. It's always a joy to take her out and hang out with her whenever I can. And I put a lot of time into these girls just so they're, the temperament is good as they're younger. And then when they get older, we don't have any issues or I don't have any issues handling it because I do this by myself. And I think even at her size now, if she gets wrapped around your neck, uh, she wouldn't kill you, but I think she'd give you a little bit of a startle if she starts squeezing because this girl right here is pure muscle and she is pretty strong. So, Taking her outside quite a few times this year, and she definitely enjoys being out. Wish I could take her out more, but I don't want anything bad to happen to her. And you know, not much a snake can really do except slither through the grass and enjoy some sunlight, which is always good for them. But um, I know a lot of people are probably getting into anacondas and perches and babies. If you guys have questions or anything, I, I'll try to help you guys. I've, I have three of them, and I've uh, gone through the baby steps and the stressful, uh, the stressfulness of them not wanting to eat or uh, being super picky as babies. But um, if you guys have questions, let me know. So this girl is, I would really like to bring her into some reptile shows, um, maybe educational stuff, maybe, I know, I think PetSmart or Petco does like on the weekends where you bring your pet in or your exotic pet in and people can like, see them. I don't know how well they would do in that type of a setting. I think she'd do fine, but I think I'd be more worried about some of the, um, I don't know, I don't want to say diseases that might be around Petco, but you know, just try to keep her healthy as, as much as I can. And she is in a, for those that are wondering, she's in a nine foot by three foot cage. So it's plenty big for her and should be plenty for her uh, for quite a few years. And then in Ohio, uh, I do need a permit when she gets 12 feet, so that'll be very, very soon. So let's check out Mountain Dew. All right, so this is Mountain Dew, the second female that I have. She's a 2020, so she's about two years old. And she's a little on the small side just because we had a little issues with her when she was smaller, but she's bouncing back a lot, and she's put on a lot of size in the last six months, I would say, and very excited for that. So I've been feeding her... Um, not a lot, but I upped her food uh, intake just a little bit. So I was giving her, uh, was it two smalls and a medium, and a, maybe just a medium, or two mediums, I can't remember what it was, two mediums a week. And uh, just to get some weight on her because she was very underweight. I'm not gonna make that as a habit of feeding my snakes twice a week, but she needed to get up to size. She needed to get some weight on her. She was looking a little thin, but as of now, she's definitely uh, getting some size on her, like I said getting that muscle tone, which is what she needs. And from here on out, hopefully she stays healthy and she does well. So she's definitely growing, super docile, super sweet snake, just like Pop-Tart. And it's nice 
when you put the time and the energy into these snakes, they're very, very rewarding. But I will say that they, uh, they do take some time on that and they can be messy. So having these snakes compared to the other snakes, they go to the bathroom way more often. I would say daily. I'm basically changing the water out on all the anacondas. And um, I really don't do that with the ball pythons or the bows. And the bows do have some nice water that they can soak in. And, and once, they, once they eat, they go to the bathroom and then that, that's it. But with these, it's just like every single day. <laughs> it's like I know I got to clean out the anaconda cages at uh, when I come home from work or even on my days off. Like, oh, well, I know what I'm doing today. So both of these girls are phenomenal. And I, I really want to breed them. That's why I got the male. Hopefully in the next couple of years, I can uh, be successful on that. And I know she's got a long ways to go, but I think Pop-Tarts should be good in the next three years. Uh, depending on the weight and the size but i think when i've heard um they do better the older they are so i think around five or six i think that would be a good age for them that's typically what i'm being told i think you can breed at four uh, four years old i've seen people slug out at four and then they've done very very well when they're at like five six seven years old they got a lot more uh, mass on them a lot more weight to carry those live babies and they can have like up to 40 so you don't want a, a female that's too small and can't carry the, uh, the nutrients for those babies. But that's the anacondas and we're gonna check out some boas. Just a quick walk through on some of these baby boas. This is 2021 VPI IMG. This girl is phenomenal. She's growing up very, very quickly. Gorgeous colors on her. And I'm really liking how dark she is and with the iridescence. And I don't think she should get too much darker than this because it has the VPI in her. This girl is phenomenal. It's the Hypo Jungle. Um, oh yeah, she has pastel in her as well. But look at the coloration on that, look at that tail. Beautiful colorations, awesome pattern down her back. And she's a 2019, which she's smaller than the 2020s, but she eats like a monster. Every time I throw a weaned rat in there, every single week she eats, she sheds consistently. So I don't know why she's so small. She could maybe just be a runt, I don't know. But I've never had any problems with her. And I really like this one right here. She's growing up, changing her colors, just looking phenomenal. So this is the Moonglow 2020. And she kind of wants to get away. So really cool tail patterns on her. Pretty unique looking uh, snake on the colors and the patterns. And I like her eyes as well. We'll focus. But just a super, super cool snake. And a lot of people want to try to get something out of the ordinary on the boas. I highly recommend them getting a moon glow or the snow. So she eats phenomenal. And then when she gets bigger, she'll be in a full PVC enclosure. But as of right now, she's doing very well in this cage right here. This girl is getting darker and darker with every shed. This is the IMG Hypo Motley and Jungle. And she is 100% het for snow. So she's got the anery and the albino gene in her, which would be cool to try to breed that out and see how well she does. But she's 2000, she's 2020. So she's getting up there. She's on small rats, doing very well. And that is it for now. I'll definitely show you guys more snakes on the next video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys have a great day. See you on the next one.